Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We're visiting the Sky family this time. Sorry, I'm a little bit off. I would I would guess I was so used to saying every Dean or the Hunger Games series. So we're going back to the regular legacy and so I'm a little bit tongue twist right there. And um so please forgive me. I'm a little bit rusty right now. I only been back to the Sims for about a week. So um <laughs> So I am still not really used to the hang of things again. I'm trying to record more often, try to record more and upload more. Um, you guys have seen an influx of uploading perhaps uh, once a day or once every two days or so. That's because I'm just trying to um, finish up the Everdeen so we can continue this game and go on to next generation. And because I, I feel really bad that I've been on, on hiatus for so long and I feel like I've been leaving you guys hanging and I don't want to do that. Um, so here we are again. So I know I said we're going to try to finish the Hunger Games series with the Everdeens, but um, as I was um, finished recording episode 17 for you guys the other day, I noticed that the Everdeens were at day 17. Um, if you guys want to look at the screen, this is the lot sync timer. This is how I keep track of how old each family is in, in the lot, and this is how I synchronize every family so that one family won't be like won't like outgrown of the family. I don't know um, for you for some of you guys experienced game who've been playing for a long time. Um, one of the hardest things that you probably have tried before you discover you know a way to you know keep track of time in your game I mean I guess some players like myself before I discovered this um lot um lot timer I had to take notes of how many days I played per sim and had to write them down each time so I can keep track of each family um so that you know for example you play family a for 10 days and then you install family b and then i guess if you don't take the notes correctly then you might end up playing family b for like three generations where family a is only still in the first generation so you have these two family who are like growing at two different time rates and if you are going for the realistic kind of gameplay it's it's ridiculous it's a torture for yourself and because you then you have to like you know then you then you just like get frustrated like I would and like you know and have to go back to this family and play them all the way until they reach the same generation as that other family. I found that so annoying when I was playing so I discovered this little thing called the lot sync timer. It comes with a director's cut for FFS. Um, if you guys want to know where you can find it, comment below and I will post a link. Um, but I have mentioned this in the, in the video a lot of times but anyway so you get you put this on the lot and you will click on it and you can install it for family if I uh, haven't installed this it will ha have an option to install for family and once you install it for family it will start counting how many days that family been on the lot and it will keep on counting every day and and then you install if you install one for every family you keep count of every family and therefore if you keep everybody day to the same day that means they're all time synchronized if you um it may sound a little confusing but let me just explain a little bit if you click on it i have a list of families um beside the sky family here we have five uh four other family we have the andre family we have the everdeen family the swift family and the hathaway family andre is a family I play offline um, they are at day 17 right now and um, and then we have the Everdeens is day 17 the Swift is day 17 it's also another family I play offline and we have the Hathaways for our other um, uh, you know um, let's play that we're doing but if you notice it, they're at day 11 so they're literally six days behind and we have Sky Aya she's also at day 14 so she is completely three days behind so what I would do is I would um, log into a family look into the list and whatever days they're at what I'll do is I'll go and list an upcoming event and set event day it will be so she is three days behind so what I would do is I will set it to tell like two plus three so that at now, when I said that three, at day 17, it will pop up a message telling me, oh, it's day 17, so it's time for me to do whatever event I want to do. I use that to let me know, oh, I played up to the amount of time where everybody else is, so I need to go to the next family in the rotation. So if I were to play this family for uh, up to the day 17, event can come on, and that means I'm going to move on to the Hathaway. 
Yes. Which means for us anyway, I'm gonna be recording Aya for about three episode, four episode, or maybe even two episode, depending on how fast we're able to get through to her. And then we're gonna then move on to the Hathaway. So you guys will be getting updates on the Hathaways after her. So that's how I kind of keep my neighborhood synchronized. Right now it's a little easier and the rotation a little bit, uh, you know, easy because I don't, I don't have a lot of families. But let's say I know my Swift family is going to multiply a lot because the Swift family has a triplet, all boys, and a set of twins, a boy and a girl. So that's literally five kids and those five kids are going to branch out. So that'd be, a, a, that's literally four different additions or five addition if all the kids just had to move out to my neighborhood rotation so that's you know that's just the way I keep track guys but yeah I'm gonna be getting a lot of um, family to play soon because I do plan on playing all the sims in this game I mean in this neighborhood whether I'm gonna record them or not you know because I do like them like all of them so anyway we're back to Aya um, it's been a while since I recorded her, so just like the Everdeens when I came back I was kind of lost I didn't know where I was at so so it's gonna take me a lot of time. Thankfully, with this legacy, there's no rules, there's no restriction. The only thing is she's gonna mimic what I would do in certain situation. So she has more freedom than everybody. She can do whatever she wants. I mean, the last time she went out, she was looking for a maid. I guess she wants to fall in love. That's why we locked this. She wants to fall in love. So, <clears throat> so because she wants to fall in love, she ended up meeting this guy named Sean Connell at the nightclub. Um, they had a I guess they have attraction to each other, but their personality is just manko. Like, they do not get along. Like, they would not be able to have a conversation without one of them is, like, either yawning or, like, getting frustrated at what, a direction of conversation. So, maybe we're going to try to get her to meet another Sims who, like, hopefully wanders into the, into the lot. Um, she don't have a lot of money right now. She's at $90 in family funds so she needs to save as much as she can um she's supposed to go work at nine she because she is a novelist like a newly um a newly established novelist she's just an office run around so she's not making enough like 150 and i believe her rent is like in the thousands so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna have her uh she can't dig for treasure because it's in the winter so what i'm gonna do for her is i'm gonna have a work from home there one of the one of the neat features I like about my hacked computer is that they have something called the works at home, and the neat thing about this work at home is it allows the sim to learn skills um, while making money at the same time. So if you um, originally without this, what you uh, like what a sims can do online is write a novel, and if the, and they will write the novel for about thirty sims hour, and then they will make and then they will sell it and make a bunch of money out of it. So that would how Sim would work from home originally in like you know a pre mod game, but with this hacked computer, I can just have them work at home, and what they do is they study skills and then end up writing like almost like an essay for them. For example, let's say for her, she needs two creativity point. So what I'm gonna have her do is write stories, and um, write stories for creativity points, so she can like learn these cre like not only she's gonna like. Um, improve in her skills but she will also make money for because for every article she finished she's gonna get paid for it and for uh, and the the amount she got paid for gonna increase depending on what is um, how many skills she have so let's say um, let's for the sake let's say if she has two creativity skills she'll earn maybe two hundred dollars but if she have ten she'll probably earn like four thousand dollars for it so it's probably like that um i haven't really used it a lot but i really thought it was really neat i do want to try a challenge where a sim doesn't have a job and just completely work from home and the only thing the sim does is work is use that to earn a to earn a living so <laughs> that's a that's a new neat way for my sim to earn a living but anyway i think i has been frozen for a while so let's have her do her morning um Get her morning breakfast. She already performed her morning ablution, so she's good. So let's have breakfast. Let's go have some oatmeal. So before she gotta go to work. Oh, there is a stray. I believe it's a cat. A 
it's a cat sir henry doesn't sir henry look like a fox um it's a custom pet i installed that looks like a fox a fox and so adorable so neat i might get i might get sir Hun henry um adopt sir henry because um but i'm not sure if she's up to owning a pet right now since she's so poor So I feel like her family is a bit um, lonely right now because um, it's only just her, it's just her like she haven't met anybody she didn't like you know to get married to perhaps I'll have if if the rent end up getting becoming really expensive like see look at her bills one hundred seventy three sorry I just saw that oh she didn't get to eat yet what in the world. Fine, go to work, go to work, go to work. Um, yeah. I think I just lost my train of thought. I was in what I was talking about. Uh, but anyway, yeah, she's she's pretty lonely right now. She has a really nice apartment. I do plan on growing her family in this apartment, although it's pretty much an empty apartment since so she really have no neighbors. Um, I mean, all the other floors are empty. Especially since I have that mod, um, so just really her. So perhaps I'll move in like after the um, maybe one after the kids and one the family they move out. I'll have them move in here so she'll have a uh, neighbor. Uh oh, look at her bill. It's in the yellow now. It's gonna be scary. She gonna have something taken away. I might well sell something. Oh, this is so scary. So I'm gonna stop recording here and I'm gonna um, bring you guys back when she comes home from work. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, I'm back. So it's almost six, so she's coming home. She's coming home in a little bit. Um, there was a lot of people that walked here, you know, when she was away. Oh, she made some money. Let's go pay this bill. Recycle, clean up. Yeah, so um, I never realized. Like, well, I do realize, but it's kind of funny, how, interesting too. How in The Sims, like pets. I mean, like you know, animals are able to use the front door and stuff. So I thought that was really interesting. I, I had a good laugh watching like the penguins coming in. I'm watching all the cats and the dog coming in, and I was like, huh. Oh look, he's pretty cute. Let me let's have her come and greet him. Oh no, she can't. This is Matthew. Remember when I spot talk about Matthew Swift? This is one of the families. Um, one of the um, one of the Sims that live in the neighborhood. He's one of my, the family. Um, one of the other families that I haven't played. But perhaps I'll do a current family video to introduce you to this family. So he's now a proud father of five children. So I mean, <laughs> he's pretty. He's a really good dad. He's also very mus uh, yeah, musically no, no, no. inclined, so they ha like he plays a lot of music. But it's good to get to know him. Okay. Entertain for a little bit, joke, and then say goodbye. Don't want to stay long. But he's super handsome! I love him. He's actually a custom Sims. I don't remember where I got him from, but yeah, he's super cute. I like him. I mean, his, his family is super adorable. I think I should do, do a, a current family show you kids. They're just super adorable. Okay. okay. Aww. Like, if he wasn't married to Daisy, I would actually have him marry her. He's so cute. He's so adorable. He has a really cool personality, too. Okay, so she had to pay the bill. She has another bill, so let's go ahead and have her... Um, oh, she wanted to get a roommate. Maybe she should get a roommate. I never had a roommate before. Maybe, perhaps I should help pay the bill, too. Huh, interesting. What do you guys think? Should I get a roommate? Especially with the bills coming up. Uh, okay, let's um, let's let's worry about that later. For now, let's go ahead and work from home. She needs to get her creativity's point up. Oh, she do need one friend. Oh, well, let's get her creativity points up, and then we'll we'll have her call Matthew. See? So she's learning, so she's not only working, like, you know, getting some, writing art about money, she's also gaining skill points at the same time, so it's like, defeats two point making money and, like, you know, 
learning a skill. So I find this is the quickest way to do it. So she is focusing. I think this is kind of perfect for her character too because she's supposed to be a writer. So like, I like you know I, I I like to pretend that that work from home project is almost like her owning like working for an online blog and for every article she writes out is like that's how they pay her. And each article can be about any type of like skill point, like what about cooking, about you know, mechanical skills, you know, fitness and stuff. So it's pretty nice. Let's see someone's done with that, and then we'll have her call Matthew. Let's win the world's the phone over here. Awesome. Because she do need one friend for the promotion. Oh, she's super tired though. I'm just waiting for her to finish that so she can call her friend. Oh, it's 10 o'clock. He may not be able to wake, be awake to talk to her. <laughs> see, she may be forced to take it alone. Oh, look, and see, she made $200 just for her first article. That's very, very nice. So let's go have her call Matthew. Turn off. Have her. I think he should be asleep. I think I'm gonna get the harassment phone call notice. Uh, oh, he's awake. He's, he's Perfect. Oh, who's this? Oh, she's probably a um one of those um downtown East and she's pretty cute. Diamond. Oh. She's going to sleep. Okay. Wait, actually, don't turn it off yet, sweetie. Oh uh, she I don't think she made it to make fun with him yet. Okay, don't turn it off yet. Why don't you go pay bill first? So, another nifty thing about this computer is you can pay bills on it too. So, you can just go bank online. If it's bank online, you're, you're able to deposit money, create your own bank account, and this deposit will be able to, um, like, you know, you know how when you put in the bank, you save it, you incur interest. So, it works the same way too. You put money in here, and then it incurs interest, I believe, once a week or a few times a week. Or, and you can use it to pay bill. There is a loan section where you can actually loan money from the bank and you can pay them back with interest. So, um, I'm not sure about getting her a roommate to help her pay the bill. What, what would happen if if she don't have enough to pay for the rent? I'm gonna have her take out some uh, get a loan, pay back. Um, there is a transit money option where she can transfer money to other Sims in the neighborhood or to other Sims bank account, um, like and then also to other help families as well. Um, there's also donate money. Um, this option I used to do in the um, builder builder city. Um, in my little city neighborhood because you know I'm um, like when a sim have to pay taxes or something I used to donate money option as that so for now let's pay the bills and then we can turn off the computer right after and turn off the computer and then go to sleep so after she sleeps I'm gonna Turn off the game. I'm gonna not turn it off. Like I'm gonna stop recording. This way, we I can get a lot more in an episode than having to wait, spend all that time and wait until like she wakes up. But then um, I'll record if there's anything special happen, like you know, there's a robbery and stuff. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. So I is up. Um, now it is 6 a.m. I'm gonna have to do go use the restroom, um, and then um, take a quick shower, and then I'm gonna have her call Matt. Matthew to develop see if she can develop friendship with him before her her ride I mean her carpool arrives so let's do that I mean, feel kind of bad and you know she has a family sim she wants to start a family ooh have a first kiss is high aspiration than falling in love so I'll probably do that um yeah so hold on I think I forgot to do something for the for her let me just give me one second. Oh, look, see, I forgot. That's why her knees were so bad, and I was wondering why did she need like lose her energy way too fast. So if you guys, um, I know I, I mentioned this a lot of times, but I can't stress this enough, guys. When you ever, whenever you play, you know, create a new Sims, always go here first and get all these motives up if there's enough point for it, because this will help that Sim. Um, make better use of, uh, of a sim energy throughout the day uh, so the motives won't decay too fast so that you can do more um, so that was probably why I had such a hard time in the last two episodes 
this is how to call Matthew and oh okay so this is part of that uh, part of the mod I have my game so Matthew is probably asleep he have probably haven't wake up yet so that's probably why he's the, like you know the phone with uh, if the sim is at work or something or it's not available it's like oh why are you harassing this person especially if they're sleeping or if you call sim in the middle of the night so it's a really neat and realistic mod I had in my game. It sucks because like right now I'm trying to make her- Ooh! I, wow, she's still here? Huh! Uh, okay. So she's here, why don't we try to <laughs> befriend her? Talk to her. Wow, poor girl. She oh! No, she's been here all night. <laughs> she <laughs> poor girl. Okay, you can recycle that. Recycle that. Why don't you try calling? Oh no, it's too soon. I'll go recycle this. <sighs> Looks like she won't be able to get a promotion today. I was really hoping she would get her promotion. This switch sucks. She have a day off. Too. So what um what we can do is uh, is have her like stake out like have her stake out like um in front of, of in front of um the, the the her apartment and see if she's get any like you know nice people to come in and like you know and then if she can find a potential spouse to come in to marry and come in. Oh, she's spying on Matthew. Oh, Matthew is so gonna come over and yell at her. I guess I, I guess she think it's kind of worth it because when she was trying to call me, he wasn't awake. Not that it's his fault. I mean, she did call him very early. But I'll see you guys after she come back from work, guys. Okay, guys. So she's almost home. Uh, again, I think like all the like nice like you know like like the good like potential mates are literally like coming during the day. So now it's like the evening. I don't think she'll probably meet any one of them much. So she has two wants is to be friend with Matthew and that like you know guy that she's attracted to but don't get along with <laughs> Sean. So um, we have two goals. So let's go ahead and try to get her to make friends with him. So let's have her go ahead and call and call him. She also have mail that she's supposed to get to. So we'll take care of that. So let's call Matthew and attempt to befriend him. Just talk to him. Like I kind of want to invite him over as a household, but um, I don't know how my game would handle it if we would crash or not. So, so let's see. I mean, she's obviously not attracted to Matthew. <laughs> like poor chemistry. <laughs> So she has a bill of 122. I believe in this hood I set it up that you got a bill every day, but it's pretty low so you don't have to worry about it too much. She only needs one friend, so if she can get this one, I don't have to worry about the next promotion. The poor girl needs to make some more money than this. She needs some spending money. I was thinking of getting to call the uh, matchmaker and have the matchmaker make her come and you know bring her potential mate, but what? I think there was something, I have a mob that doesn't allow the gypsy to come into a res res residential lot unless they are called. But I, but for some reason, like when they call, it doesn't load. So, um, therefore, um, it, I don't know what happened with it. I have to figure out why she doesn't come when you call. So the only time she, um, calling her would work is if you are a community lot. So, we'll see what happens. And have her call Sean right after of this. I want, like, usually when I have a sim call to make a friend, I will let them speak until at least in the 75 because, um, like motives, relationship decays as well. And I f realized that if you can get the friend, like, I have a mod set in my game that if the relationship between two sims is over 75, it will not decay. But if it's under 75, then it will decay. And look like she's becoming fast friend with Matthew, so it would not decay. Okay, so she's all set with him. Um, I don't think she needs to speak to Sean for now. She want to gain a skill point. 
Um, okay, but let's have her go pay the bill first. Um, pay bill online. Oh, I love how it actually give it here too, and she can actually work from home as well. Let's go have her work on her skill point. Nah, don't call. And I've been keeping an eye out on this area for, you know, for potential mates. Poor girl. She really wants that first kiss. So let's have a pay the bills. And continue to work. It's a bit tedious. There's not much happening, especially since she's lived by herself. Oh, now she wants to be fun with him. Okay, we'll call him after. <laughs> we're having because to eat after too. It's 11 p.m. Let's let's have her not work and let's have her sudden check her. I I oh here's another thing I like about this hack computer is like there's a system like you know the game I believe the originally the game already have the email system set up. But what it does is, like, you can only set and, ch and check one sim at a time. But what I like about the hack computer is you can have an option called set and check, where they can email a bunch of sims at once. So you don't have to, like, like their like, email address book. So all I do is add the sims to the list, and they'll email them all at once. And they also check all the emails at once. And what I like about it, it builds the relationship here as well. Even though they don't talk on the phone, it builds the relationship much slower, but but they actually retaining these relationship and you know and I like that about it so and it allows her to uh, maintain relationship that's, I, that's what I find most useful about the email is that it helps maintain relationship because especially if the relationship is low like under 50 and therefore like you know they'll stop being a friend okay let's go ahead and have dinner um, let's have Tom Yang Gong. I believe that's a Thai food. Tom, I know Tom Yang. Tom Yang is, I think that's how we say it. I'm Cambodian, so my language is Khmer is pretty similar to Thai. Uh, because our country, uh, like, because Cambodia is like right next to Thailand. Uh, so our our terminology, some words are very much the same. So I believe the pronunciation is Tom Yang. Tom Yang. Like, we would literally say Tom Yang for Tong. Oh my gosh, she burned our food. Aw, poor girl. How much? Oh, I just realized her cooking skill is pretty bad. Oh, poor girl. You just saw I haven't burned food. Sorry, honey. I'm a bad... <laughs> you know, in this way, she actually represents me because I... I'm a bad cook myself. I mean, you know, I'm embarrassed to say, I'm actually 25, turning 26 next month, and I'm still... just enough to cook. My mom always, like, you know, like, she always said, you know, like, no man would marry me because... Um... Because like I don't, I can't even do any household chores because my head is always like in writing my book or reading my book. So like I'm a terrible like you know I'm like she said I will make a terrible wife. But then I always told her I was like mom, if a man want to be with me, he will want to be with me. Also, he don't know up front I'm a bad housekeeper. So I'm gonna so in a relationship what I would tell him is that I'm willing to pay for a maid to come to the house to clean for us at least once a month and I'm willing to pay for it. That's my contribu contribution to household chores is I will pay for a maid to come clean the house like once or twice a month. So <laughs> at least I'm doing my part. But that's the truth. I'm, I'm a horrible housekeeper. Like, you know, um, I wouldn't say I'm a, um, I wouldn't say like um, I'm not messy or a slob, but more like I just... I just like, you know, I just tend to clutter, like, you know, like, I like soft things, I like having things around, I like the live and feel, so I tend to live, leave books around and stuff around, you know, so, yeah, my mom, she, she said I would make a horrible wife because of all that, but, um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what to say about that, but, yeah, I, in her, in her mind, I will, I will make a horrible wife and no, no man would want to be with me because of that. How many days has it been now? Oh, day 16 so this is the last day oh, wow we literally finished this in one video guys um okay so what she's doing play the sims nope why don't we have her call sean if we're lucky he's awake and she can try to befriend him 
Let's call Sean and just talk. And oh, surprisingly, he's awake. Huh. I guess the schedule is different from Matthew. Although, I play Matthew and I know he's usually at that time, uh, the, around this time too. So. So hopefully we'll end this episode with her getting promotion. Her carpool is coming and they are not getting any friendship. Oh, it's good. Uh, she's on the phone though. I can't save this game until she's off the phone. It's a little bit more her carpool. Oh wait, I forgot. She have a day off today. I'm an idiot. Oh yeah, we're gonna steak out. We're doing a steak out. <laughs> Perfect. She'd be fun. I guess they get along now because obviously they made it your friend. Uh, now she wants to buy an orchard tree in, in an apartment building? I don't think they allow you to plant anything outside, do they? You know this landlord right here? He owns every apartment building in this neighborhood. <laughs> That's because I have to set the game to generate only like one NPC per, like, you know, per duty. So you have one butler that goes to everybody's house. So you have one landlord that owns every build, every apartment building. You have one delivery guy, one of everything. There's no two. <laughs> Even professors, only one professor per course. And that saved my game from bloating, so. Ugh, oh, the bill again, every day. Jeremy, let's see what he looks like. He looks decent, his nose is decent. He has pretty small eyes, though. Huh. I'm, I want like a nice looking like, guy. Oh, I should have ever talked to the mailman. I mean the um, the bill delivery dude. Okay, sweetie, you're good with him. Now why don't you uh, recycle? Oh, he oh he's still here. Let's have a talk to Jeremy Bear. <laughs> Jeremy Beer. <laughs> I don't know why, but I am getting a kick out of his last name. Taz, Taz. Let's have her talk. Let's see how she likes him. To leave, must it? It's casual. Oh, let's see if she will like him or not. Oh no, no, she's not. She doesn't like. She doesn't find him attractive at all. Okay. Okay, sweetie, why don't you go? I think she can dig for treasure now, can she? Yes, she could. And this is spring, I just realized. Let's have her dig for treasure while she stake out for men. <laughs> she sounded like she sounded like a slut, <laughs> but she's really not. She just really wanted the first kiss. So we're just gonna hang out here and have her dig. I think I have eleven more minutes. Let me look at the um timer that I have on running. We have like about three minutes for her to dig up something nice before this episode. Woman, get back there and do digging. You need money. You need money. <laughs> oh, I am a horrible swimmer right now. Yeah. Go dig for stuff. Come on. You need the money. And I believe there's going to be a big bill coming up for for this apartment. I believe like a two, three thousand dollars. Because you rent an apartment bill with furniture on it. Okay, I'm going to... Fast forward it and see what she digs out. So I'm gonna pause right here, guys, and I'm gonna let her dig and for something nice. And um, and once I she digs out something nice, I'll come back and we'll end the episode there. So just give me one second. Okay, guys. So she was digging, and <laughs> I didn't watch her hunger level, so it came down to absolute red. Thank. Thankfully, with the dig, um, the digging macro, what I, I keep watch on your Sims motive, so it knew it knew for me that she was super hungry and she's gonna die in like three minutes if she doesn't make food. So it made her go make the food. So thank God. So now she's eating and she has to answer the phone since it's ringing. She found. I mean, she she made she dig up some decent stuff. Um, I'll give um I'll show it to you in a little bit. Oh look, there's Matthew on the phone. Bye, Matthew. 
she has other things to do right now. Um, okay, so she can clean up. And she also needs to shower. But let me just show you what she dug up before we go. So she found seven bones, which I'm going to sell right now. They're $50 each. So that will bring her up to five hundred, about 600 Two rocks for 25 each. That's bring up over 600 Then she found this, like, falcon sculpture for 200 This uh, sculpture for 300 Another rock for $50. And she found this whatever it is for 280 and she oh this is food that she cooked and somehow ended up in her inventory okay guys so i think i'm gonna end the episode here um because well actually i'm just gonna might as well do it because it's gonna be six and every day 17 so that should be the end of this episode so six and that's day 17 so she is good which um so we managed to get her synchronized to everybody else time schedule um which means the next episode will be the hathaways so we can get to visit the hathaways and get to see her and her crazy family and <laughs> it'll be tough for me because the only the only thing we can control is cats so it'll be interesting to see everybody you know doing the same thing over and over and her going crazy trying to like you know do everything else so Thank you guys for watching as usual. You guys are the best. Thank you for keeping up with me. Um, you know, by the way, um, tell me how you like the audio. The last few episodes of the um, of the Everdeen's the Hunger Tri the Hunger Games series, I did not edit the audio at all. All um, I just basically do straight recording with voice meter and um, and then just put it right into the video and didn't do any editing. Let me know if you like it because I believe that without the editing, this is like how I actually sound. So um, yeah. So let me know if you don't like it, whether you like it or not. Um, you know, if you want to take a look at some of my older videos and then compare the audio, see which one you like better. Let me know because I really don't know because I think I still sound fine without editing the videos, but um, because it sounds really decent because since my last, um, I bought a new microphone since then. So um, yeah, so let me know, guys, and I'll see you in the next episode. It'll probably be uploaded um, in a couple of days. So I'll see you then. Thank you for watching. Bye.